Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Delaney and for today's video we have another unboxing video and this is this month's Pout Box subscription box unboxing. This is for the month of March. So if you are new to Pout Box, it is a lip subscription box. So everything having to do with lippies, lip gloss, lipstick, lip scrubs, lip masks, and every month you get like four, five, six-ish, depending on the value, lip products in each box. And sometimes you can get like other accessory items as well. And this is a $35 a month subscription box. They also just got a $19 subscription box and you get three the products in that box. So definitely I will put the information down in the description box below if you're interested in checking out Pout Box. But we're going to be doing the just regular uh, $35 a month lip subscription box in this video today. So if you are interested in seeing what came in this month's pout box, then keep on watching. I just did a full face testing out new makeup products. So I have that makeup look on today. So you will see how I get this look if you watch that one. And I'm wearing the same shirt because I'm lazy. Oh, hi, you wanna come see everybody? Oh, hello, oh, hello. You don't need to lick makeup off my face. Thank you very much. I just spent a long time doing it. I do. All right, so here's the pout box and let's dive right in. So when you open it up, you get a little pamphlet on the inside telling you what comes in this month's box. I'm gonna put this away for just a second, but it tells you the retail prices of everything in here as well as a little description. I love when they wrap it up like this. It's a beautiful little lip sticker in there. I think that's a nice touch. So I'm, I'm gonna try not to crinkle too much, but the first thing that's in here is actually not even lip related at all, which is kind of funny. <laughs> so sometimes they give you like little add-ons or just accessories or just random stuff just to be fun. <laughs> but the first item in here is from Sparkle and Bash. This is a spring inspired pocket tissues. So with allergy season coming up, this will be perfect to pop in my purse just in case my nose starts running. <laughs> but I actually do like the spring pattern on the front and the back. I think that's really cute. And this retails for $1.50. So it's just a cute little add-on that they put in here, which I think is nice, is very sweet. All right, next up, this is from Cargo Cosmetics, and this is a gel lip color. And this is in the shade Manhattan. So I'm imagining it's gonna be some kind of berry shade if it matches that top sticker. Okay, it's like, it's a bullet lipstick. Oh, it's sealed. That's nice. Usually these things just come in the unit carton and don't come with a seal on them. So, ooh, that's what the shade looks like. It might be a little bit bright. Ooh, I think it actually will work. That's pretty. It doesn't really smell like anything, but this is what the color looks like and it looks like you can kind of build up the color to what you want it goes on a little bit sheer and then you could just build it up to your desired opacity but that's a beautiful shade it's almost like a little bit berry but sheer so i think a lot of people will get good use out of this and it feels really soft and hydrating so so far so good so my lips are a little bit red from removing that liquid lipstick but <laughs> It is what it is. So hopefully we can see the shade on top because I imagine it's gonna be very similar to my natural lips right now. But we're gonna go ahead over my lips. Ooh. That is actually really pretty. I've never actually tried anything from Cargo Cosmetics before, but the formula is really not bad. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Marc Jacobs high shine enamored lip gloss sticks, but I definitely do like the Marc Jacobs ones better. Um, I don't know, there's no sparkle in it at all, but it does have a nice glossiness to it. It's very comfortable on the lips and the color is sheer, but it's pigmented enough where you can build it up just a little bit if you want to, but so far so good. I think that's a really nice option to have in a box. So this retails for $20 and it says this is a rich but lightweight gel lipstick that glides on with like silk with a smoothing formula that moisturizes and protects lips for a comfortable moisturized pout. So you can kind of use it as a gloss as well. <laughs> pout box does not put anything in their boxes that is not cruelty free, but this product is also paraben free if you're interested. Let's move on to the next one. Ooh, okay. 
So the next thing in here is from Dr. Paw Paw, which I've heard of before, I think, but I'm trying to think of where I heard that. <laughs> this is a multi-purpose soothing balm with natural paw paw for lips, skin, hair, beauty finishing, and cuticles. It's fragrance free and it looks like you can use it as a multi-purpose balm. So if your hands are dry or anything, apparently you can use it in your hair. That's interesting. I've never heard of that kind of a product before. It does come sealed. It almost looks like Vaseline, <laughs> kind of a similar concept. It's just a clear balm. You all know what a clear balm looks like. It's clear. <laughs> it's clear and balmy but it feels nice, feels nice and soothing. It's interesting to come in the box. I like that it's a multi-purpose item as well. So it's not just for the lips, you can use it for a bunch of different things. So it's fragrance-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. Cool, I like to see that. So this retails for $8. So if you're interested in that, then it's actually really nice and affordable. It's 100% natural, vegan, cruelty-free, multitasking balm that's packed full of pawpaw, papaya fruit, aloe vera, and olive oil, used to nourish your lips as a primer on dry skin, as a hydrating and soothing evening mask, or to smooth eyebrows and separate eyelashes. So apparently you can almost use it as an eyebrow gel, which is <laughs> really interesting. I might have to try that. Moving on. All right. I know this brand very well. This is from Glamlight. This is their churros. Is this a gloss or a lipstick? I can't tell. Glamlight has some really unique products and they're all food theme, which is really fun. And their packaging is really cool. So it kind of has a triangular shape. And on one side, it has a mirror for easy application. And it doesn't actually say if this is a lip gloss. What is this? Okay, this is a liquid lipstick. So I have tried their liquid lipstick formula before and it's okay. It's not my absolute favorite thing ever, but the shade is beautiful. Let's see what it smells like because they usually are very, very fragranced. Mm. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that particular fragrance. Um, I will swatch it, but I think I'm gonna find this a different home. I'll leave it for the declutter, but I think that cinnamon smell is just too much for me. And I don't wanna put that right underneath my nose. So I'm just, I'm not gonna swatch it on my lips, but here is what the shade looks like. And it's not fully opaque. I don't know, Glamly doesn't have my favorite liquid lipstick formula in the world, but the shade is actually really beautiful. It's something that I probably would wear. It just might be a little bit orange leaning on me and I might not get a lot of use out of it. So I definitely think this is gonna be going in the declutter pile when I do liquid lipsticks, but you'll have to see what else goes in that pile. So the Glam Light Liquid Lipstick in Churros, uh, this retails for $14, but I like to see it in the box because some of you might actually enjoy the shade and the smell more than I do. Interested to see this in the box, but not my favorite item, sadly. Next up, we have something from the brand Au Natural, which I feel like we've gotten something from them in the past, but this is what the box looks like. So this is a high luster lip gloss. Oh, it's not even that long, look at that. The box is so tall, that's crazy. I don't know why they put it in that kind of a box. Here is what the tube looks like your standard kind of lip gloss tube. It smells good. It smells kind of like, not old as in old expired makeup, but like older, like vintage makeup where they had that kind of scent to it. That's what it kind of gives me that vibe. Mmm. It's actually beautiful though. Feels very hydrating on the lips. I like the shade. It actually goes really well with that cargo gel lipstick, but I will put a swatch on my hand so you can really see that color. Since it kind of goes with that cargo color, you don't see it as much, but if you wore this by itself, this is the lips, the lip gloss right here. And it's very high shine, which is beautiful. Love to see that in a lip gloss. And that's actually a beautiful shade that I think I'll get a lot of use out of. That's like my everyday lip color shade. So this is a winner for me. I like the smell. I like the formula. If it's all natural, even better. So let's see what this retails for. Oh natural, whoop. The Oh Natural High Luster Lip Gloss in Slip retails for $18. So 
This is a wet on contact lip lacquer that delivers a slightly pearlescent sheen with a buildable color. Best selling formula that uses castor oil, jojoba oil, and vitamin E to keep lips moisturized and cushiony. Ethically and sustainably sourced ingredients as well. And it's vegan and cruelty free. So I'd like to see that in a brand. Let's see, I think we have one or two products left. Ooh, I saw this one on their Instagram. So the next thing in here is from Unicorn Glow. And this is a color squeeze tint. <laughs> the holographics making my camera go crazy. This is an 06 blushed apricot. I'm guessing it's a lip gloss. It says it's a tint, but it looks more glossy when people applied it. So here is what it looks like up close. It is a little bit on the, um, the more coral side, the apricot side, that is the shade, but it's a different shade than what we normally get, so I'm okay with that. It has an interesting applicator, too. It's almost more liquidy, so I guess that would be more of the tint. So it's just going to make your lips a little bit more apricot shade, and hopefully it's a long-lasting dewy lip tint, because that's kind of what it sounds like. Let's see. So the Unicorn Glow Squeeze Tint in Blushed Apricot, the newest and cutest lip tint around, formulated with hyaluronic acid and, her and herb extracts. This lightweight, pigment-rich tint drenches lips in a beautiful color and moisture for a bright, gorgeous, youthful look. Apply one coat and blot with your finger for a natural flush of semi-matte color. Add a second coat and let air dry for a long-lasting, glossy shine. So it sounds like you can use this product in a couple different ways. You can kind of get that blotted lip look if you want to do just one coat. And if you want a more like pigmented, glossy look, then you add a second coat on top of that and let it air dry. So I think that's a really cool product. I like that it's dual use and you can kind of customize to what you want for that day. This shade in particular is a little bit on the coral apricot side for me. Usually I don't reach for something this orangey leaning, but the product seems really, really nice. And it actually is drying down a little bit and still a little bit dewy, but you can definitely see that it is tinting. But I feel like if I try this on over my other stuff, you might not be able to see it. But let's try it out. And I'm blotting it out because it said if you want a matte look to do that. You know what? The color is actually kind of growing on me. I like that. Especially nowadays when we're wearing masks everywhere, this is a beautiful product to have because it just gives your lips a nice color to them without making them like super lipstick looking. This would be perfect under a mask because the mask wouldn't take away your lipstick and get all over the mask. And this kind of a lip stain leaves your lips looking beautiful even after the mask is off and you don't have to worry about getting it all over everywhere. Um, yeah, I actually kind of like this. Even in this color, the color's kind of growing on me a little bit. Hmm. All right, the Unicorn Glow a Squeeze Tint retails for $11. And then you can add the gloss right on top of it if you want. We have one more product in here, and this is from PYT Beauty. I've actually never heard of them before, I don't think, but this is a Strike Twice Lip Duo. It's a dual-ended lip gloss and matte lipstick. Hmm. This is what the PYT duo looks like. And I really do love that shade. That is my kind of lip shade. So if this works, mm, I'm excited. Oh, that's so cute. I don't normally go for duos, but look how cute. You get your lipstick on one side and then your gloss on the other. That's really similar to Pillow Talk. If Charlotte Tilbury, wow, that shade is beautiful. On the lips, it leans a little bit more pink than the Pillow Talk. I think the Pillow Talk's a little bit more on the cool, like browny pink side. But that is a really, really gorgeous shade of pink. And I think this is a great shade that I would wear every single day. So I am loving that. This is perfect to stick in your purse. Oh my gosh. This is just the matte lip side. So let's try a little bit of the gloss on top. But it's actually nicely pigmented, went on really nice, and feels like a comfortable matte. And it feels like a nice, comfortable matte lipstick. Ooh. All right, so let's try a little bit of the gloss on top. Doesn't really smell like anything. 
think that's actually a really nice duo. I thought that I probably wouldn't get use out of a duo kind of product like that, but it's just small enough that it'll fit in your purse. And I think the shades complement each other so, so nicely. So you can either have the matte side or you can add a little bit of gloss if you wanna crank things up a little bit. But I actually really do like it. And the, the shade is perfect for me. And this is something that I would reach for every day. And the formulas of both are really, really beautiful. I'm actually really impressed. I've never tried this brand before, but I really do like the formula. Yeah. All right, so the PYT Double Duty Lipstick and Gloss in shade Icon. Uh, this double fun, <laughs> this fun double-sided lip duo gives you two colorful pigmented looks in one, a satin matte lipstick for a richly pigmented base, and then a shiny non-sticky gloss to use on top or alone for a lighter look. And I can definitely attest to the, the gloss is not sticky at all, which I really do love. Uh, enriched with nourishing shea butter, mango seed butter, and vitamin E, 100% cruelty-free, hypoallergenic, vegan, silicone, and harsh chemical free. And this retails for $18. So I am really impressed. This box, I think I like better than last month's box, actually. Um, yeah, I think that I think that's actually the case. I think the really, like, the real winners of the box for me are the PYT duo, the, the Cargo Cosmetics kind of gel shine lip color, the Au Natural lip gloss, and the Apricot lip stain. I think those are the real winners in here. The balm is interesting. It's nice to get, but I don't know. It's just a balm. <laughs> it does say it's, it's used for a bunch of different things, so I'm definitely going to try that out for other things, and it's nice to see a multi-purpose thing in the box. And the Glam Light, I would be excited, but I've already tried this formula and I know that it's not really my favorite thing because of the scent, but the color is really pretty and I feel like if you get this box, you will really enjoy it if you like the scent. But I think that's pretty much everything. Yeah, I think I actually really liked a majority of the items in the box and a lot of them are shades that I can wear. So I am really, really impressed. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching the unboxing and try on for this month's pout box. And if you like the subscription and want to try it out, I will definitely put my referral link below. I also have a code that you can use if you'd like, and it's Delaney10 for 10% off of your first box. So definitely use that if you want. <laughs> he wants to say hi. <laughs> He's gonna help me say goodbye to everyone because he just wanted to sit on my lap. <laughs> but you can use code Delaney10 for 10% off of your first box if you are interested in signing up for Pout Box. They have a bunch of different subscription boxes to choose from. You can do the small one, which is $19 a month. You can do the $35 one, which is the one I just unboxed. Or they also have gift boxes that are one-time uh, boxes if you would like to go that route as well, if you just wanna get them for someone. But that is all I have for you today, and I am really happy with this month's box, honestly. Like, one of the best ones that I've gotten so far. So, really, really nice. I'm, I'm happy. Are you happy? He's happy. <laughs> all right. I hope you are having an amazing day or night wherever you are. If you liked this video, please smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you'd like to be a part of my YouTube family. And that's all I got for you. So, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>